Today we're going to show you how to check caster and kingpin inclination on a heavy truck using simple protractor tools. Now we're going to be following the instructions here. Um, they're available in the description below. And the first step, remember, is to make sure that our vehicle is in proper condition for alignment. Um, the suspension of the truck would have to be aired up if it's air suspension, tires properly inflated, the truck sitting on the ground, the steering wheel has to be centered in the directly straight ahead position. All of that has already been done on this truck. So we're going to move forward with our first step, and that is to measure the frame angle. Most bays of a shop are not perfectly flat, so we have to take, the account, the, uh, take into account the angle of the frame when we begin to do our caster measurements. In the instructions, it says about using a machinist protractor and determining which way the truck is sloping, whether it's sloping towards the front or towards the back. If the bubble goes towards the, the back of the vehicle, um, that is going to mean that it's considered to be a negative angle. If the bubble goes towards the front, it's at a positive angle. So we're going to start with our machinist protractor we have right here. I have it set to zero so that we can determine which way the bubble moves. And we'll place it parallel with the frame on a clean, flat portion of the frame like we have here. This bubble is more towards the front. I don't know that you're able to see that in the video, but it's slightly towards the front, so that means we have a positive angle. To begin to measure our angle with a machinist protractor, we will loosen these knobs and turn the level vial ever so slightly till we get the bubble centered in the reading there. So there, right there centered, I'll lock it in with the knobs, then I can pick it up and read my angle. It looks like it's a very slight angle here, less than one degree. There's another tool that's more widely available these days, and that is a digital protractor, sometimes known as an inclinometer, and we're going to use that. We're going to take this, we'll place it on the frame once again, and it will show our angle. Make sure it's parallel with the truck. It looks like this is showing a 0.4 degree angle, if you can see that in the video. We will then use that angle to correct for all of our measurements. Also, notice it's indicating that it's sloping down in the back, which is a positive angle. That agrees with what we found with our machinist protractor. So we're going to write that down before we move on as positive 0 0.4 degrees is our frame angle. Every measurement we do for caster will have to be corrected by this factor. Now, in some cases, I've heard people give a tip that, well, gee, with these digital ones, you can just zero that and go from there and you won't have to do any math. I don't recommend doing that because the zero will be correct if we have this protractor aiming this direction. But if we turn it around and it's zeroed, um, that is going to throw us off actually doubly by twice that amount. So allowing us to read in both directions, we're going to do the math ourselves. We're now going to move to the second step, which is going to be at the front of the vehicle. All right, so here we are at the front axle of the vehicle on the driver's side, and we're going to move on to the second step, which is to place our protractor at the axle pad to get the caster reading there. Now, just for demonstration purposes, we're going to use the digital one from here on out through the procedure. So you want to make sure the axle pad right down next to the U-bolts is clean. It's the same pad that the springs are sitting on. You're going to take the protractor and place it parallel or basically right against the U-bolts. Now, if I don't, I'm not sure if you can see that in the screen here, but right now that protractor is showing that it's clearly sloping to the back and it's at 5.0 degrees. So if you remember, our frame angle was 0 0.4. We have to subtract that. If they are the same direction, you're going to... Um, subtract them. If they are opposite, you're going to add them. So if our frame angle had been negative, we would add that. In this case, it was the same direction, S for same, S for subtract. So we're going to take our 5 degrees minus 0.4, and we would write down that our left caster at the spring pad is measuring 4.6 degrees positive. Earlier, I had looked up the specifications for our axle, and it allows a caster spec of 1.5 to 5 degrees. What is very important, though, is that it's within a half a degree from each side of the vehicle to the other. We're now going to move on to check our caster angle on top of our steering knuckle, which it very well should be much the same. Um, 
if it's not, that indicates maybe a, a damaged kingpin or bent components. Uh, usually it's the same within a you know, few tenths of a degree. In order to do that, on many axles, you have to remove the cap over top of the steering knuckle. It usually will have a grease fitting in it. So prior to this video, we loosened them up. Here you can see the cap, it's held on by three bolts. If we tried to measure on this, we won't have a flat surface. But if we remove this, we have a nice flat surface to measure to. And a tip is to stick two of the bolts back in there. I'm gonna put them in without their washers. Put them in the back two holes, which will give me another parallel indicator for measuring on top of my steering knuckle. And then I'll simply move my gauge and put it directly against that. Thread them in a little bit. Take my digital protractor and put them against here. The steering wheel is straight. This is held by the bolts. It's straight. It's a little hard to read with it facing the wheel. But keep in mind, we can flip this around because we didn't zero it. And we can get a reading this way. And here I can see my reading is 5.3 degrees. Um, also positive. So if I do the math and subtract our 0.4 degree frame angle, that would give us a reading of 4.9. In my experience, it's normal to see a little bit of a difference, you know, maybe half a degree between the spring pad to the top of the steering knuckle. We would then want to go and measure the caster on the other side following the same process, checking it first on the spring pad and then removing the cap and checking it directly on top of the um, steering knuckle. Before we move on or end this video, I want to show you how to do one other measurement, which you can do once this cap is removed as well, and that is to check kingpin inclination. Kingpin inclination is measuring at the same spot on top of the steering knuckle, but we're now turning our protractor 90 degrees basically in line with the axle and seeing how much our kingpin is pitched in. So we're going to do that. Just take our protractor. In this case, it's going to slide under this brake chamber. Make sure we're holding it flat down on the kingpin, straight across the vehicle in line with the axle. And here it looks like we're reading 6.9 degrees is our current kingpin inclination. So we'll record that on the sheet as well and then do the same measurements on the other side of the vehicle. Hopefully this will help you to perform caster and kingpin inclination measurements on medium and heavy trucks.